Hey everyone, Christian back with yet another thorough plant review. And this time I'm getting, I'm kind of close to this palm because it, we're kind of clustered in here. This is probably the best view I, I can get of the plant. I can back up a little bit to get a full view. Um, but this is Copernicia Falens. And uh, this is probably the most sought after of all Copernicias, uh, especially in Cuba. And uh, this palm is native to uh, Faya, which is a small region in north central Cuba. Um, about 150 miles east of Havana and it's a very small town and they grow out in a rural kind of uh, swampy uh, farmlands of uh, th that area and <clears throat> the reason this is uh, so sought after is the sheer size and beauty of the plant now um, if you can see the leaf bases here the old leaf bases you get, that is going to measure about uh, about a foot in width which is pretty crazy it's probably the widest of any Copernicia and it has a silvery, a bluish silver about it that is also very striking. And you can see, um, like all Copernicias, it's gonna have an uh, armed petiole. You can see here, and they're actually pretty rough. You would not wanna run your fingers or your hands or anything along them. Um, they will stab you. So uh, don't lean up against the plant. And if you are, be careful. Um, but it is meant to be viewed from a distance. And let me see if I can give you the best look here by right, backing up. You can see Ashley's there in the, for reference. And this is not a mature plant. This is still a juvenile. Um, and because it's kind of clustered, you can't see it's solo. I will try and also get another video where I can get one, a bigger one that's solo. But uh, it is, um, like all Copernicus, it's going to grow well in swampy, um, sunny areas where it has wet feet. And this plant um, comes from a collection now, because uh, Cuba is a very hard place for Americans to come, or was a very hard place for Americans to come for 50 years plus, uh, it, these plants were not very common. There were a few specimens in some botanical gardens, and uh, some collectors decided to make a trip to Cuba, totally without any real uh, method, just kind of took a flight uh, from Florida to another country and from another country to Cuba. And the funny thing about that is Cuba knows that they, they want Americans in, but they know that the Americans can't show that they've been there. So they give you a little uh, little slip of paper that says, you know, that it's kind of like a, t a temporary visa. It's not a stamp. So they know that, you know, you're there properly. You've gone through customs. So uh, two people I know went there um, during the late 90s, early 2000s, and they collected seed. And this is probably, I believe this plant is from the seed collected around 2001. And uh, right around then is when they kind of uh, really uh, hunkered down on the regulations of going to Cuba. They kind of tracked everybody's movements. So uh, that collecting stopped for about 10 years and then it came back again. So um, now this, you, can, you can get seed of this plant relatively easy. It's not cheap. Um, you're gonna spend between five and $10 a seed. And uh, even small plants uh, that are like in seven gallon pots are gonna run you about $20 a gallon or more. But it's very much worth it if you can only get one copernicia or one big copernicia for your yard i'd recommend this one and if you don't like it you can always sell it as a specimen to a to a uh, field grower they will pay top dollar for it so um, i'm not going to discuss the, the value of this plant but um it is it is a valuable palm and it would be uh desirable to uh landscapers in the miami area so uh as typical of all copernicias it has a the frond stays entire and then it splits off about two thirds of the way out into these little leaflets. And now there's a little bit of uh, potassium uh, deficiency going on here, but uh, it's still looking pretty nice. And it, the fact that we aren't in any sun really isn't doing this palm justice. And unfortunately, so it's really a very striking plant and does look best when uh, not being crowded by anything else. But unfortunately, my friend doesn't have a ton of room, so he does plant what he can and has given it some room kind of at the base to really take off. So uh, this palm is well taken care of and well manicured. So uh, that's gonna be about it. The seeds of, of almost all Copernicus are gonna be around the same size. They're gonna be marble and uh, marble size and circular, and they're gonna come off a of bract similar to the one that I showed of Copernicia macroglossa. And um, they just require a ton of heat and put them in perlite and let it get over 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 Celsius or 40 Celsius. And 
you'll have yourself a uh, germinated seed uh, if you can get get a hold of some seeds. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. And hopefully you enjoy these videos and uh, subscribe and watch them as I uh, as I bring them along. So anyway, have a nice day.